the the ability to know others and to be known by them is is great and it it builds community and family and it also deepens your walk with the Lord um, and that that's something that you don't find everywhere so HBU is HBU is the place for that. Hannah John is a standout student in HBU psychology program an excellent program within HBU's College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. The HBU psychology degree trains in multiple disciplines, including individual, social, and cultural psychology. Coursework prepares students for further study and meaningful application. But today, we have a chance to meet just a tremendous young lady, Hannah John. Hi. How old are you? I'm 22. 22. Yes, sir. And how did you, you're, they say you're a standout. <laughs> wow, psychology, that's not an easy topic, huh? It's a very interesting one to me. Um, I've re really enjoyed studying it. Um, I think learning about people and understanding people is really important and it's very applicable to different areas of life. So. I believe by understanding people better, we can love people better. And that's one of the reasons that I chose to study psychology. And I mean, how long did you have this motivation to study psychology? Right before I started school, I picked the major psychology. So not very long, um, but and I- And you're in what year? I'm in my senior year. So senior I'm graduating year. in May. Wow. Mm -hmm. Has it been as you expected? Yes, it's been a very good um, four years, good program. The professors and relationships with professors have been really great. They, they keep their doors open to students to, um, visiting them about questions about class, but also about grad school and life. And, um, and it's been really valuable to get to know them and to hear them give advice and wisdom to students. So tell me the story of how you got to HBU. I was homeschooled and I'm born in Houston, born and raised in Houston. I live in Sugar Land with my family. And so when I graduated from high school, I was trying to decide on a major, on a school, and I really didn't want to leave Houston. So um, I looked at HBU and I had friends who had gone here before and some connections and we visited the school and just really loved the Christian worldview and the character of the school, the nature of the programs. So um, I applied and the Lord just kind of opened the doors to come here. Um, so that was, that was kind of how I got here. Now you must have a real special mom and dad. I do. Tell me about them. They were both born in India, which is where my family is from, but they came when they were very young, so four and 12 and they have lived um, in Philadelphia and then in Texas. So my parents met and lived in, in Houston and that's where um, me and my sister were born. And then we adopted my little brother from India about 10 years ago. Oh, cool. So we um, were a very close family and my parents have poured into me and my siblings so well through the years and really wanted to give us a um, an opportunity for good education, but also education that included growing in our relationships with the Lord. Now, I want to know, why, why is your family so close? Because a lot of families aren't. I think we, my parents put a priority on spending time together, and that was one of the reasons I think that they chose to homeschool, was to, to have more time with us and to influence our lives. Um, and so, I think also just our um, our community has been has fostered a tight relationship. What do you mean your community? We um, our homeschooling community, our yeah. church community, um, our family community. We're kind of scattered around Houston, but we um, but we have priority to spend time with family, and um, and I think because of that, that's one of the reasons that we are pretty close family you know we uh, I share that I mean our family is very very close and my wife's like my best friend mm -hmm. I mean 
you know, the thought of me having to go play golf or do anything without her is like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm what they would call weird. I'd rather be with my wife. <laughs> um, but, you know, not every family's close. And um, so when they see a close family, they, they kind of, uh, it's like different. Hmm. Now, obviously, your mom and dad um, had a desire for you to be a real disciple of Christ. And yet they came from India. And um, India is not really a flourishing place of Christianity. One of the largest churches in the world is in India, hmm. 125,000. But Hinduism and Islam. So when did your mom and dad <clears throat> have a faith experience that left them to really pass it on to their children? Sure. My father's family um, is from South India, and so that's where most of the believers in the country are. So his extended family has been in the faith for a while. And so when they came to the United States, they were believers. My mom's family was from North India, and so they were not believers. So um, her extended family that still lives there, they're Hindu. And when they came to the United States, um, later in life, both of her parents and then she also um, trusted Christ. And now they have that legacy to pass on to us. But my mom's family was not was not Christian before they came here. Wow. And um, so then, you know, you come to HBU, and um, I assume that that's been a not only an enjoyable thing, but you picked this psychology major. And um, what are your career plans with it? My plan right now is to pursue grad school, and I'm thinking about clinical psychology programs, um, but I would like to take a year off after graduation just to spend some time making sure that that's what, what the Lord wants um, before I pursue a different program. Um, but I'm looking at clinical psychology. Clinical psychology, mm -hmm. so going into the graduate school? Yes, so we have master's programs in psychology at HBU, um, and then we there are PhD programs in psychology um, in Houston and around Houston, um, and I am considering PhD programs, so. Wow, mm -hmm. that's serious stuff. <laughs> Which is part of the reason that I'd like to take a year off first. <laughs> <laughs> Go swimming for a while or something, huh? <laughs> Um, I mean, so let's just kind of fast forward your life. Let's say you, you do your graduate work, you get a PhD in psychology, Where, what would you want to do? I would love to practice, to be a practitioner of psychology, whether that's working with children who have special needs or different mental and emotional disorders whether that's in a hospital setting or a school setting or providing therapy to children. But I would also consider teaching as well. So coming back to a university setting and being able to provide um, resources for students who are studying psychology as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think the relationship between professors and students is very valuable and I would love to be part of that in giving back. What is the psychology program at HBU? What, what are its features that, it, that has impressed you? One particular class, um, one of the professors, she was a practitioner and then she taught part-time. And so she brought in a lot of stories about her experience with clients. And that was really valuable to see what does this look like outside of the classroom. And then in my capstone uh, course this semester, we have two ways to apply the knowledge that we've learned. And one of them is an externship. So we can do placements at different sites, whether that's working with kids or hospice. And then the other option is doing research. So I've chosen to, done, I've chosen to do research this semester. And um, that involves surveys and visiting classes and getting participants to fill out surveys and then calculating data and presenting that. So that's been really good to just learn how, how do these things translate into real life and how would, res how would research look if I pursued it past undergraduate level? Now, um, I've, I've filmed with a number of 
what I would call atheist psychologists in a project I'm working on. Mm -hmm. And when you get into the field of psychology, you find that there are believers and non-believers. How have you uh, been able to, I mean, what has there, first off, have you been exposed to anything that's challenged your faith? Yes, I, there's a lot in psychology, a lot of theories that are not based in biblical truth. And so sifting through those things and being able to see this through a lens of what does, what does God's word say about this? What do we know about, um, about human nature through, through God and his, his word? Um, that's been really important to be able to tell what the differences are. Um, and there are, there are a lot of outspoken uh, psychologists who are not believers. And so being able to engage those ideas and those people in a way that's loving and understanding, but also knowing what, what I believe is true has been challenging, but also growing. Right. So Hannah, like in the field of psychology, uh, we, you, you see the news every day like I do. I mean, we have some, some people that really have some problems in our world today. Um, and a lot of it emanates from the family, either a mm -hmm. functional or a dysfunctional or absent family. Yes. Um, I have the con conviction that a Christian student should be exposed to what a non-believer says to undergird why they believe in the Christian truth. In other words, if we keep Christians totally isolated, then what I found is many of them have some kind of disappointment in their life or some, something happens and they just turn away from the faith. Mm -hmm. And Paul says that we cast down imaginations and every argument that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. And we bring every thought into captivity and the obedience of Christ. Mm -hmm. So in pursuing a degree and graduate degree in psychology, you obviously hear a number of theories that regardless who espouses them, Sigmund Freud, whoever, mm -hmm. that you, you, you can hear and synthesize them, but they don't leave your face shaken, do they? That I think being able to understand those theories and understand the worldview behind them or yes. underneath them and critically engage with them is really important and not just blindly accept them or, um, or take, take those into your view of psychology. So I think being able to think about them well and then construct a psychology and ways of viewing those theories that are lined up with truth is important. So being able to look at all of those arguments and take them captive to truth and to God's word. Yeah, and you used an interesting word that is a word that my wife and I have both been fascinated on is mm -hmm. critically. Mm -hmm. You know, too often Christianity can be very flippant, shallow, kind of, you know, let's all you have a yippee ki -yo, <laughs> and at the end of the day, we don't know anything. Mm -hmm. But we have to know something. So HBU also teaches very clearly the, the Christian worldview. Yes. Regardless of what the academic topic is, yes. unapologetically. Mm -hmm. The trustees ad adopted the confessional statement that Jesus Christ is Lord. Mm -hmm. Now that's not politically correct in our world. Mm -hmm. They weren't doing that to be politically correct. And then those pillars here at HBU are standing for 10 values of truth. How has that helped you coming to a university like that? I think the central confession of Jesus Christ is Lord is central to our lives and to our work and our study. And so working that out and seeing how does that make sense? What, what does that mean on a level of studying on academics, but also for interacting with people? So that influences how we love people and how we treat people, but also how we speak truth to them and how we see truth in the things that we learn, but we can also pinpoint things that are not true. 
um, and things that glorify the Lord, things that don't glorify the Lord. So I think that is the thinking critically part um, and being able to point everything back to Jesus Christ as Lord. So everything in, everything in what I'm studying, if this is not further glorifying the Lord or pointing people to Him, then we need to think critically about why that is. That's great. What should future students know about Houston Baptist University? It is, it is a place where you can be known by people and know them. So we talk a lot about relationships with professors and just the value of having, um, being on a smaller campus and that's, it's incredible. But I think also by students and peers and staff and others, the, the ability to know others and to be known by them is, is great. And it, it builds community and family. And it also deepens your walk with the Lord. Um, and that, that's something that you don't find everywhere. So HBU is, HB is the place for that. So you're going to graduate in May? Yes, sir. And uh, parents going to be here? Mm-hmm. And what graduation ceremony are you going to be at? The 9 a.m. one, so the first one. And what do you have planned for the day with your family? My sister is graduating high school the same day, <laughs> so her graduation <laughs> ceremony is at 2. So we'll be at mine in the morning and then run off to hers in the afternoon. So a lot of celebrating. That's great. Um, what is it about your dad that you admire the most? He loves people very well. He's very gentle, but he has a strong, strong understanding of, of who he is and who other people are in, in the eyes of the Lord. And he relates with people very well. He's, um, He's kind and gentle and, and is very much a mentor to people, even though sometimes he doesn't, he doesn't choose to say that. He, a lot of people come to him for advice and wisdom because he can give that. And what about your mother? My mom has a great love for, um, for God's Word and for doing things with excellence, and so whether that's doing things around the home or encouraging us in, in studies, doing things well to glorify the Lord has been, has been one of the things that she's impressed on me and my siblings. Well, we are very, very proud of you, Hannah John. Thank you. And we expect so many great things of you in the days ahead. Thank you. And um, in May, Hannah John graduates from Houston Baptist University. And yet again, we've heard another story of why this university is so unique and why God has big plans for her. And uh, we just want to commend uh, every person who's made the mission of HBU possible because vicariously you have said to Hannah John and to all the other students, we believe in you and we're here for you. Hannah, we want to keep in touch with you in the days ahead. I fully expect you're going to have a great, great career path. And Thank it's you. a real joy to meet you today. Thank you. You can learn more about the College of uh, Education and Behavioral Sciences, hbu.edu, COEBS, College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. And remember, our admissions office, 281-649-3211, will answer any question you have. Pick up the phone and call them. Of course, everything's available on the website as well. But if you need to talk to somebody, no question is not valuable. Make a phone call today. We look forward to talk to you again. Thank you. Happy graduation. Thank you. You got any tests between now and then? I do. I have a couple of tests. <laughs> okay. I'll do well. Thank you.